Yeah, hi there, Rafat. This is Michael again. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And you had a question about my independent writing practice test number eight. And the question is, students at universities often have a choice of places to live. They may choose to live in dormitories or they may choose to live in apartments in the community. Compare the advantages of living in university housing with the advantages of living in an apartment in the community. Where would you prefer to live? Give reasons for your preference. All right. So then uh, your question here is, you said, I found that this writing practice says is considering arguing more than making a comparison. Clarify for this point only, please. Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that you probably should compare more than you actually argue. Exactly. Uh, here's my recommendation of how you could answer this particular question. So first of all, you have your introductory paragraph. And you mention about living. You 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 mention that that some people choose to live uh, on campus, and some people choose to live off campus in apartments, right? And then the next paragraph, you talk about the advantages of living. I think paragraph two, you'll talk about the advantages of living in university housing. In the third paragraph, you'll talk about the advantages of living in an apartment in the community. Now, this is important. In both paragraph two and three, don't take a position yet. You should have more of an informative and objective tone. You're simply explaining why some, not you, but you're explaining why some people may choose to live in university housing. In the next paragraph, you'll explain why others choose to live in an apartment. Now, when you get to the fourth paragraph, that's where you get to your argument. So then you can state personally, I prefer to live in university housing or in an apartment in the community because maybe state maybe two reasons and then in that paragraph defend why those reasons are valid reasons which affect your choice. So I would say in this one, I'm going to say probably about 75 to 80 percent of your essay is more either comparing or just giving information. Right? And then the final paragraph, paragraph four, that's where you get to your argument more. So that's how I would frame my response for that particular question, Rafat. All right?